Well, hello, fellow artists. Let's pick some cards right away so we can get into our art challenge of the day. Uh, let's go. Top, bottom, who knows? Top, let's go. Here. Somewhere near there. We have a seahorse. That sounds good. Medium creature. Go towards the bottom somewhere. A flamingo. And don't worry about the cards. We're going to put them up here on the side so you can follow along. So we have a seahorse, flamingo, and the large subject will be a camel. <laughs> Alright. And then the details always throw the drawings a huge curve. Let's see. Very top? No? Too easy? Right I, I really don't know what we're ever going to draw. That's the fun of it. Let's see. Two-headed. Okay. Before you get doodling, make sure you get all the tools you might want to use. I got some watercolor crayons. You can use regular crayons, color pencils, ink, any kind of thing, or just black and white, just a pencil. Anything you can use around your house will work. So if you want colored backgrounds, I always like using just like, you know, snack boxes. I don't eat junk food, obviously. But if I did, I would use the pizza box because that's kind of uh, a good background. Let's get started. So when I start drawing any of these kind of mythical creatures, I always start with uh, the body shape and thinking about which animal parts I want to keep and which ones I don't need. And again, every drawing is going to be different. So you draw whatever you want or whatever you can. It doesn't matter. There's no winners. It's just a matter of having fun and opening your imagination. So I started by drawing the seahorse fins on the back, the shape of the flamingo neck. And since it had to be two headed, I wanted to draw each way because that looked kind of silly and I liked that. So um, the camel legs on front I did and then on the back I went ahead and used the flamingo legs. So they're a little more bird-like, a little skinnier and pointy. So there's two for support in the back. I just like the flamingo's kind of shape overall. The the curves and you'll see the color it's probably going to be bright and uh, so the beaks of the flamingo I liked because they had that two-tone color and then I took his beady little eyes and tried not to make them look too evil because I like them friendly and then I had the seahorse uh, bubbles here along his spine in the center line so my light table is kind of big if you don't have a light table you don't need one you can use tracing paper or you don't even have to draw a second piece of paper but i like doing that what i use is actually ink and so i use watercolor pens and i fill it with ink and it's a it's a noir just really dark acrylic ink and um anyways i trace over the whole thing so that it comes out a little cleaner and I can reposition if I need or anything like that. So if you don't have a light table, you don't need one. But if you have one, it kind of makes it a little, little easier, a little cleaner to do stuff. And so I'm just retracing all of my own uh, original sketch. And then there's that center line again, like I said, from the seahorse. And there's a bunch of uh, dots and bumps and seahorses down there center line. And... Um, the eyes I use, so I use a, a thin sharpie also to get a little more detail. So I go around and shade kind of a cursory shading with the sharpies. It's a little easier to control. The other one kind of bleeds out a lot more. You know, I wanted this guy to look kind of crazy, kind of wacky, and I think he does. And um, it's just a matter of adding details, shadows, and having an open mind for whatever you want. You know, it's your art, so you gotta do whatever makes you laugh or makes you giggle. This one I like a little bit for the fact that it's so impossible. <laughs> Pretty much everything I draw is kind of an impossible thing. This one seemed extra zany because you don't know where he starts and where he might end. I assume one of those ends have to be a tail. So use your own imagination, like I said. I'm gonna use the watercolor crayons and I like to give very broad I like these because they're quick but they're real broad colors and you can add them they're just like a regular crayon except when you add water you'll see in a minute that it makes it kind of uh, blend together really well so but I always need to improve and I keep practicing and improving hopefully <laughs> 
So now I have my watercolor brush out and I'm gonna be adding a wash to everything. So the color is down and it's actually quite fun because you get to see where the color kind of spills out and it's, it's kind of hard to go back and add more color once it's wet. So you gotta make sure you put enough of the color where you need the darker spots or if you wanna mix, that makes the colors look kind of cool. Uh, having multiple you know gradients to it and then the uh, each of the each of the legs and feet there I made orange to match the beaks on the top and then the flamingo pink I have obviously on the bottom and uh, makes it look a little wild and kind of fantastical remember this is all just to have fun so I always keep a I always keep an open mind but the uh, my dabbing my dabbing napkin there helps pull out some of the extra water if you need or if I need and uh, helps clean it up. I try to always do a little, something a little bit different each each time I draw something. And so this Sharpie is just a ultra fine Sharpie that you, know, you can go back and add shade. I'm fixing his eyes here and uh, yeah, I'm gonna mark it done. Don't forget to sign your art. Well, all right, here is my final artwork for the Camel Seahorse Flamingo. I hope you had fun with yours, whatever you came up with, and we'll see you next time. Keep your imagination sharp, we'll see you then.